Hi, this is Robbie with Techno Photography. Today I want to talk a little bit about GPS files and getting them into Lightroom. When I got my Sony a7 and it did not have GPS, I was kind of sad because I really like to geotag my images. Uh, when I travel, just I find it really useful to come go back and look at pictures you've taken years later and go, ah, oh, this is exactly where it was. It's really helpful. And it's easy when you upload to certain sites and geotags them along. So um, I have an older GPS unit. I got this way back in 2009, I think. And it works like a lot of the phone tagging apps do. It basically records your position and time. And as long as your camera is in sync, then later on in Lightroom, you can put the two together. The problem with this particular GPS receiver, the Sony GPS CS3, is that it does not record to a GPX file and Lightroom can only import a GPX file. So I had a problem. I couldn't get my geo information into Lightroom and then connect the pictures up. Uh, Sony has an app for that, but it's not really great and it doesn't look like it's kept up with later camera versions. So I like to do it in Lightroom. So in this video, I'll show you how I do that. It's pretty easy as long as you have the correct application to convert the GPS file to a GPX file and then Im importing it into Lightroom is easy. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is plug in our GPS unit into the computer via USB. Easy enough. This will let us read the file system on the GPS unit and pull off the files directly. So I want this particular set from March 15th. Copy this into a local folder so I have it to work with. The application that I use to convert the log file, which looks like this, to a GPX file that uh, Lightroom will recognize is a file called GPS Babel. You can get it for free, you just download it. It has a GUI interface, but it's pretty confusing. It can convert pretty much any type of GPS file. And I couldn't find the exact one related to this in the user interface, but I was able to figure it out on the command line. And for this particular unit, the command line to use is something like this. So let me execute this real quick. First, we need the name of this file, log. So this is our input file, log. Output file, log, uh, gpx, okay. We are in the same folder with this, and this is the path that it will install to, or it has installed to on my particular computer. These are the configurations. We say go there, and it should be that easy. So now we have a GPX file. It looks essentially XML, and Lightroom will be able to figure that out. All right, so now let's get this into Lightroom. This was taken on, 315. Where was I on 315? So once you're in here and you have cam pictures for that day selected, then you will select the map portion. So we will want to click on here and say load track log. Here we are, here's our GPX file we just created. So that just imported our track log. And there it shows our location on a map where we were that day, which is really cool. So now we need to actually geotag our images. And in some cases, you'll need to do a time zone offset. If for any reason, one was at the daylight savings and the GPS was not vice versa. So you could have an issue. Luckily, it shows a time range here. So it's not too difficult to figure out. So for me, we were set properly. So you, now you select all of your images. You say auto tag and give it a second. And there we are. Now all of our images are geotagged. You can see where we were. It slides through to show you where your pictures were taken. So you can see signs, parking lot. So that is how to connect your GPX log files directly to your images. This would also work if you're using the cell phone app that creates a GPX log of your track. It 
works exactly the same way, except you probably wouldn't have to do the extra conversion step that I did here. So I hope you found this somewhat useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I will put this line of text that I use for my GPX conversion in the description below. So if you need this exact one, you can have it. Um, otherwise, like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.